In this tutorial, we're going to look at a way that we can spawn particles in one particle system off of another using an event generator. We're going to accomplish this by adding an event generator to a particle system and then telling that particle system that whenever it dies, we would like an event to take place in another particle system. Inside of my empty test folder, I'm going to right click and create a new particle system. We'll name this particle test. Here we have our default cascade layout. The first thing that we want to do is we want to change this from a constantly looping effect to a burst event. We'll first go to the required tab, and in here, I want to simply go down to the duration and change the emitter loops to one. If it's set to zero, it'll be infinitely looping. Inside of the spawn module, I want to go to the rate and I want to change it from a constant 20 to zero. We don't need to worry about the rate scale at the moment. Let's go down to the burst tab. In here, you can see that we have a burst list and currently there are zero elements. Let's add a new element. Inside of our new element, we have our count and our count low. This by default is set to negative one, which means that whatever number we put into the count will be the exact amount spawned. If we would like to actually have a minimum and maximum range, then we would simply change the negative one to something like positive one. Let's change our count to five. Now that this burst amount is set to five, every time that the particle system initiates, it'll burst five separate particles. Within our lifetime module, let's change the minimum to 1.25 and the maximum to 1.75. This way, some of the particles will be alive a bit longer than others. These particles aren't moving too fast, so let's change that. Inside of our initial velocity, let's change the max in the x and y to 75. In the z, we'll change it to 400. And in the x, we'll change it to negative 75, negative 75, and 200. Now as you can see, when this bursts, these kind of shower out in a radial fashion, but moving more so up than out. What I would like to do is slow these particles down just a bit as they're reaching their peak. We can do this by adding acceleration. Let's right click, go to acceleration, and add an acceleration module. Inside of our acceleration module, we have our maximum and our minimum settings. Inside of the Z, let's put negative 200. And for the minimum, we'll put negative 50. Last but not least, let's add the event generator module to this. We'll right click, go to event and event generator. You can see that like burst events, we have elements that we can add. Let's go ahead and add a new one. In here, we need to set the type of event generator that we would like to use. In this case, we would like to say death, meaning that on the death of these particles, we would like something new to happen. There are several other options here that we can set, but the only one that we're going to worry about for this is the custom name. Let's call this new birth. With that completed, Let's now create a new particle emitter. And we'll solo this emitter. That way we're not seeing what's happening with our previous emitter. Once again, in here, I want to change it from a looping state to be a burst. Inside of our spawn, let's once again set this to zero. What I'm going to do now is in order for this to spawn whenever the other particles die, we need to add an event event receiver spawn. If we scroll down to the source, we would like to change this to death. We also need to type in the name that we gave to the event generator parameter. Let's type in new birth. Back up at the top, we want to say how many particles we want to spawn from those individual dying particles. 
I'm going to just put 10. If we turn our solo off and watch what happens, we'll see that at the end of the death, that new particles are spawned. Let's go to our initial velocity. And in here, I'm going to change my x and y minimum and maximum values. Let's try 50 for each. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the control key, left click and drag my acceleration over to my new particle emitter. I'm going to turn my maximum values up just a bit, as well as my minimum values. Let's set this to negative 500 and negative 200. You can now see just with a few minutes of tweaking that you can create a pretty dynamic effect. We've simply added an event generator that says whenever the particles inside of this particle emitter die, this event receiver spawn will notice it and will spawn a new event.